Hola, mommy! Welcome back to our Mexican kitchen with a new recipe. This week, birria tacos. This dish originated from Latin America, more specifically, the center of the state Jalisco and the town of Cocola, located northwest of Lake Chapala and north southwest of Guadalajara. <laughs> Legend has it, this dish was made accidentally when a shepherd left his goats in a cave near a volcano, and the heat of the lava cooked them so perfectly, leaving the goat meat tender. So he put some hot sauce on them and, and ate them. <laughs> Yum. What? I thought it started because of the overpopulation of them goats. <laughs> them goats be eating them crops and the Mexicans had no more food. Due to famine, they got so fed up by not having those crops to eat and began to eat them goats. So then, how did this dish actually start? I guess, I guess we'll, we'll never know. know. We don't even know how to make these tacos. OMG, I know who we can call. Hi, girly pop. We making tacos. Hi, mommy. All right then, let's get started. To start, take five ancho chilies, five guajillo chilies, and two chilies that are bowl. Remove the stems, de-seed them, and put them in a bowl. We will be using beef for this dish, however, burrito tacos are traditionally made using goat meat. Beef is more accessible to us as cattle is more commonly raised here. Goats are not locally raised here, making it more expensive to buy since it's imported. The locals began using goats for meat as goats were more available to them, and they started to eat all their crops. From this, this is how the recipe began to develop. One chopped yellow onion and saute, then add one tablespoon of tomato paste and cook until the paste darkens and sticks to the pan. Add eight cloves of sliced garlic and saute. Next, add 2.8 pounds of beef stock, then add the dried chilies. Using a cheesecloth, add a cinnamon stick to the center, six bay leaves, toasted coriander, toasted black peppercorns, and fresh oregano chopped. Then tie the bag. Now put the cheesecloth in the pot, bringing the stew to a light simmer. Then cover the top with aluminum foil and allow it to braise for one hour. Hmm, I could really go for a refreshing bev right now. Me too. I just want to pass the time by. Let's make mojitos! Yeah! Tacos we're making are often served at events such as weddings, quinceañeras, baptisms, or other holidays. It's also known as a hangover cure for its flavor, strong spices, and is usually served for brunch, brunch or the day after a celebration. Guess I'm having tacos for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take some sugar, water, fresh mint leaves, and fresh lime to a pot and bring to a simmer. Put the lid on and let, the, let it simmer for 10 minutes. Bye bye mommy! Remove the heat and let it cool for 10 minutes and strain the simple syrup to remove mint leaves and the lime. It's virgin. Mm -hmm. I've seen these tacos all over the internet. <gasps> really? I saw them last night on TikTok. Me too. They are so photogenic. I even saw these on Netflix's Taco Chronicles. That must mean they're like a really big deal. Another fun fact. Mexicans use cilantro as a cooling effect Calm down all those spices. Hot. The chilies from the pot and put into a blender with a cup or two of the liquid. Blend until smooth, then pour back into the pot. Brace for an additional one and a half hours or until the meat is very tender. 
Remove the meat and discard any bones. Now begin to chop the meat. Season the leftover broth with salt. This broth will be our consume to dip our tacos in. Now take out your quaso Oaxaca and tear it into little shreds. Now using the corn tortillas, dip into the broth completely. Then put the tortilla on a skillet at medium heat. Add the cheese and let it melt. On one side of the tortilla, add your shredded meat and drizzle some of the consume on top. Make sure they're Now grab the taco, dip it in the sauce, and enjoy. So here's our birria taco. And we're gonna try them now. I'm really Super excited! excited. Super excited. Oh, the, mm. the mm -hmm. So good, guys. The work paid off. Thanks for joining us on this long journey. Um, we're really proud of the way it turned out. And it's really good. We will be in the kitchen again next week. So tune in. Stay tuned. Bye.